Hey everyone, Ash here, and uh, me and Multi Awesome is going to be doing the new Doomsday Device mission. If I can find it in my list, here it is. Intelligence needs your help. You can uh, you can hear me, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a stupid question, given the fact that a uh, that was a stupid question, given the fact that you're talking to me. <laughs> Yeah, because I tried actually doing this with somebody else, doing my Pokemon uh, Pokemon LP, and he wasn't able to uh, hear me. I'm not a, not sure, using mm -hmm. using Steam, I'm not sure why, but... Okay, I got the mission. I got the mission. Your... Are you on your map again? Your uh, bridge? Because it says your map moving. Uh, I don't know why I didn't double click. I may have accidentally, but uh, I'm transitioning into the mission, so I'll just leave again, or you can. I'll just stay still, I guess. Okay, I'm. Well, I went into the mission. Oh, there you are. We're counting on you, Captain. We have arrived in the uh, Donia system. Starfleet Intelligence has told Admiral Quinn that they have have a contact in Bavat's fleet and that he is on one of these vessels. I was expecting some sort of coded transmission, but I'm not receiving anything. It's time for the uh, direct approach, Captain. I recommend that we disable one of the Klingon ships and board it. Alright. Yay, we get to destroy stuff. Uh. <laughs> I'm not sure. Does this does this a uh, mission have voiceovers like the uh, diplomatic orders one does? Oh yeah. Well, it does in most. It does in all the cutscenes, and it just has a small amount of voiceovers in the uh, just the ambient dialogue. I was actually surprised. Uh, actually surprised that they uh, had a voiceovers for the diplomatic mission. Hmm. Well, it does add to a bit more feel to it, and I think they're good additions, definitely. I might have to see... I like this, uh... I like the effect on these, uh, uh deals I have. The only... the only problem is... whoops. You can't actually destroy those ships, as far as I can tell. Oh. <laughs> I think they're just there for no reason, but just to add to the effect, like, you would imagine that there would be Klingon ships in the dock. So I'd probably just stop firing. Probably. If I can. If I can. My ship just seems to want to keep firing. <laughs> Whatever you need, sir. Enemy shields, weapons, and engines are totally disabled, Captain. Yeah, they're totally disabled. They're not just a little disabled, <laughs> they're totally disabled. We're sending over boarding parties to secure the ship. You can join them whenever you're ready, sir. Yeah, so no away team on this mission would just have the security teams that are supporting us. And you don't really need an away team for this since one well, of the Klingons aren't exactly that tough, except for some of the uh, except for the captain, which I actually think they replaced to a commander rank instead of captain. So um, he's not as difficult as he was before. I was wondering why it wasn't letting us select a uh, wondering why it wasn't letting us select our bridge officers. Hmm. So in the battle, we'll just have the uh, security officers helping us. Captain, I'm coordinating the uh, boarding party's movements. The teams are reporting that the uh, Targ was running with a skeleton crew. There have been a few skirmishes already, but you shouldn't have much difficulty securing the ship. I like how it's called the Targ. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, Klingon, Klingon pets. Yeah, it would be really nice once they actually add the Targ as a combat class, but I think they're doing that sometime uh, during season four. Yeah, so they're not pretty. Fun. If I'm not mistaken, they're doing that with the uh, Hordas. Yeah, they, um, I think it's on the sea store. Um, you can get a uh, 
a water combat pet and every now and then it will just fire the uh it's not as powerful as the one that you see in the uh in the Riemann Romulan special episodes but uh it's still pretty powerful and just a little bit of help yeah because uh yeah because I have my uh Horda and all it does is follow you it's pretty it's still pretty cute though <laughs> Even though it drills up through the <laughs> yeah, I do like the floor. Even though it drills up through your floor when you summon it, there's no telling what kind of damage it causes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was weird. What? I uh, one of those options said take all. Oh, there's a charge hand relic. Um, a tar it must have been that you were looting something. Yeah, it said. T well, I thought there was a target hand relic around here. But it said take all. Yeah, I need Vulcan spice tea. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyways, it said take. See, they're not really that tough with the help of the security yeah. team. What was that saying? Oh yeah, it said take all, and there wasn't anything listed in the uh, deal. Alright, it's possibly possible that you looted something as soon as I did, and I'd already looted it. Yeah. I don't know, I can't think of any of us. Oh, there's the, uh, there's the card handler. Mm -hmm. These guys are very annoying. Train his neural energy, and then wide beam him. Yeah, those guys are very annoying because if you don't kill them, they keep spawning the targs. Yeah. Yeah. Does get annoying after I'm a while. I'm actually surprised that the yeah, I think that's I'm actually surprised the Klingons haven't been running up right to our face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, we haven't reached so any sword masters yet. There's one Klingon left that is probably trying to hide. How unhonorable of you. The deck you are on is secure, oh. Captain, but the uh, Gamma Squad is reporting that there are a few Klingons left on the bridge. The Klingons have locked down the turbo lifts, but now that we hold main engineering, we can take control of the entire system. The turbo lift near your location is operational. Use it to get to the bridge, and I'll transport security teams to uh, support your advance. Where'd you go? I'm at a turbo lift. I remember most of this mission, and uh, one of the nice things is this is actually the same as the uh, Klingons, um, Klingons bridge interiors, um, ship interior. So all they did is really just add a few ambient lighting differences and just a bit of damage. Because I normally you'd have a pop up come up in the middle of the screen that would say tell. Uh, Transport to bridge or whatever, but it comes up at the bottom right like you would a nuclear on oh. interior. Oh, no wonder, no wonder I didn't see it there. <laughs> it was a, uh, it was hiding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is Captain Detang, and as you see, because of the free, uh, the free, um, yellow eye-looking things. I don't know what they're called, but just rank symbol. Um, he's he is called a captain, but because of the difficulty and he wasn't going down fast enough, they lowered his rank from captain to commander, so he's not as difficult as before. Yeah, I, I saw the uh, the uh, little line things you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, one six is the ship logs. Oh, well. should be a pop up to come up in a minute, so we better wait for that. Whoops. Captain's personal log. I have been betrayed by my first officer, a man I considered my friend, Kavok. Why? He and a group of traitors tried to take the ship. Kavok is the only survivor. There is also evidence that Kavok sent a coded message to Federation space. I do not understand why a warrior I have trusted with my life would do this. He tried to explain, but I do not need to listen to the words of a traitor. But he rot in the brink. Ambassador Babot has ordered me to bring him to the Imago system for questioning. Kabok will die screaming. It is not an honorable death. But it 
is the one Kavok deserves. 